here and welcome to how to create your own software for free part four now if you're watching this uh, you're probably thinking well I just got done with part three now let's get on to part four while I remember everything well that's just what we're gonna do if you notice I already have my code opened up and everything is ready to go now in our last project we discussed how to use variables and we added three we added two variables together and assigned that value to one variable and then we message boxed out the uh, the value so now what we're going to discuss is the if command okay so the if command is used to say if something equals this then something happens okay so we're going to delete this residue code now how an if command works is it's built on three things if else and end if in the if statement you need to put the condition so if text box one dot text because remember text box one dot text is the text inside the text box equals hello then after you put your statement um, that states what condition has to be you put then then on the next line it'll automatically tab it in you say what you have to do so we're gonna say a message box yay okay now in the else statement that's saying if textbox one dot text does not equal hello then we're going to message box aww with a frowny face and then the end if statement now the end if is pretty much just telling the program okay we're done seeing if anything's happening we we're just stop doing it okay so well, what's gonna happen is we're gonna type something in the text box first we're gonna type hello to show you that the message box will appear and say yay and if we do not type hello and press the button message box should say aw okay so let's start debugging Okay, so inside of the text box, we're not gonna. Whoops, we're not gonna type anything right now. We're just gonna press the button, and the message box says "aw" because, as you can see, we did not type "hello." Now, if we go inside the text box and type "hello" and press submit, the message box says "yay" because we did type "hello." Now, if we use what we have from our last lesson, um we can simply do this we can assign two two variables okay and they're both going to be integers so we're going to say if whoops I mean we're going to say dim number as integer dim number two as integer okay so what we're gonna say is number equals one then number two equals two now what we're gonna do here is start a whole new if command we're gonna say if text box one dot text equals number one or number plus number two then message box yay else message box aw now what this code does is first it makes the variables and it assigns them so number and number two then it says if the stuff inside text box one dot text equals number plus number two which is one plus two which is three so if the stuff inside the text box equals three then we're gonna make a message box that says yay but if it does not equal three we're gonna make a message box that says aww okay 
So then we're going to start debugging. First we're going to just press the button. And if you notice, there's an error in the code. That's why nothing happened and this little thing popped up below. Now, um, since this is the first time we're going to encounter an error, it pretty much shows this window. Conversion from type string to type double is not valid. Okay, so what this means is it's saying that um, number uh, integers cannot be put into strings because textbox1.text is a string. So how are we going to solve this? We simply make number number 1 and number 2 strings. But remember, once we added strings together, it didn't quite work out. It's it would say one it would say 12. So, we're going to delete these quotation marks and that pretty much gives them a number value. So instead of equal, equaling the number instead of equaling a thing that looks like 2 they're actually equaling the number 2 and the number 1 so now in theory it should say if textbox 1.txt equals 3 so we're gonna start debugging and we're not gonna type anything in here and we're gonna press submit and a message box appears that says aww if we type 1 message box appears that says aww if we type 12 message box appears that says yay but if we type 3, message box appears that says aww. So I guess I was wrong. When you add strings together, um, they just appear right next to each other. Um, okay, but what we can do is we could say number dot. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, so what that would do, um, I'm just going to leave it at that since we're running out of time here. We're going to see, so if this is if statement, so if textbox1.text equals number 1 plus number 2, which happened to be 12, then we're going to say yay, which it did happen. So thanks for watching this tutorial on how to use the if statement in Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Express Edition. edition. Sorry about that. Um, you can visit my YouTube at youtube.com slash Brandonia Productions. You can uh, visit my Twitter, twitter.com slash Brandonia21. And don't forget to check out my website at brandonsoft.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.